mysterious dog illness that's been spreading across the country has made its way to the metro. Our Griffin Wright joins us in studio this morning with more on how you can help keep your dog safe and healthy and how this illness is impacting local businesses too. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Kaylin. So this respiratory illness is like a kennel cough, but more serious, and it's causing local dog parks, doggy daycares, and boarding kennels to add safety measures. Sign or symptom is that coughing, sneezing, mucus of the eye. So anytime we see that, we automatically isolate the dog and ask parents or emergency contact to come pick up immediately. Um, we are cleaning or switching out our water bowls every hour, although they are touching nose to nose in daycare, so it's a little bit different. Um, in the back, we are doing air separate letouts, so all the dogs will go out one by one rather than being in groups, just to prevent anything like that, as well as disinfecting all toys after each use, stuff like that, not allowing toys in the daycare bays right now. Experts say that it's important to take your dog to the vet for checkups and vaccinations. That way, any underlying conditions that could make the illness worse can be identified. Vets also say the best way to keep your dog healthy is to keep them away from other dogs for the next four to six weeks. And if they do take their dog to the dog park, they understand the risk. I think it's important for people not to panic. Um, this is, seems to be sort of a new emerging um, process that we're seeing. I don't think people should panic, but I think it definitely caused for people to be cautious and to make sure that they are exposing their pet with the idea that they could get sick. So really the veterinarians are saying that this is likely a seasonal illness, meaning that it should pass through in the next four to six weeks, but it really brings up uh, a lot of decisions for owners, whether they choose to board their dog at a kennel, uh, maybe do uh, have a house sitter for their dog or something like that. Uh, really a lot of options to consider when it comes to keeping their dogs healthy. Definitely. We'll have to see how the holidays go for sure. Griffin Wright reporting for us this morning. Thank you, Griffin.